Food is the star of any barbecue or cookout, and for good reason. It's what brings us together in the warm summer months. But make sure you pay just as much attention to the whiskey you serve alongside of it. I'm over here at Steve's Farm today, where he's gonna teach you how to best smoke a brisket while we explore some pairing options with a summer feast. You know I got the drinks covered, and I've been looking forward to this brisket all day. Tell me how you get it just right. I knew you were bringing the 10-year bourbon, so I wanted to let that shine. So I just picked out a simple Texas-style smoked brisket recipe. It takes a long time, but it's well worth it. I've had this brisket smoke in about nine hours, so probably got 30 minutes to an hour to go. First thing we do, we get the smoker up to 225 to 250 degrees. Then I rinsed and dried the brisket, added salt, and a Texas-style rub. Then I put it in the smoker and cooked it at that 225 to 250 temperature range until the internal temperature of the meat got to be 170 degrees. At that point, I wrapped the brisket in aluminum foil and put it back in the smoker, cooking it in the temperature range of 180 to 200 degrees. This step of the cooking process is going to increase the tenderness of the brisket. I'm gonna keep smoking the brisket until the internal temperature gets up to 190 degrees, and then we can eat. This is one of my favorite summertime cocktails. It's super easy to make. It's three ingredients, bourbon, lemon soda, blackberries. If you wanted to make it with blueberries or raspberries, you absolutely could. Any kind of fruit or citrus that's gonna go with that soda and that bourbon. Just three ingredients. That's it. Wow, that's amazing. I like to make it in a mason jar batch it together, makes it super simple to bring to a cookout like this. This is great, Ted. Thank you for making this. Yeah, my pleasure, Steve. Thank you for cooking that brisket. Cheers. What a spread. The brisket, the mac, the potato salad, the collards. With a whiskey that has this much age, 10 years in the barrel, it pairs beautifully with a lot of things on this plate. You know, you've got the starch of that mac and that potato. You've got some of the savoriness of that meat. You hit it with a little dab of barbecue sauce. You introduce some sweetness to it. This bourbon, it's 10 years old. It's got a lot of barrel character to it. It's got some sweetness. It's got some savoriness. And so as you go from bite to bite on this plate, I'm revisiting this whiskey and really seeing how everything interplays. You know, maybe some people think of bourbon as a sweeter style of whiskey, but when you pair it with something like this sauce, it actually brings out some of those more savory notes, that umami, like I said, a lot of that barrel and grain character, and you taste that age in that whiskey, you know? Mm -hmm. At 47.2%, this isn't a light-bodied whiskey. Yeah, when you add a dab of that sauce on the brisket, it really makes this whiskey pop. If you wanted to do something a little bit heavier, a little bit starchier, this whiskey is really going to hold up. You know, we don't have any bread on this plate, but I could definitely see how, how a roll, a dinner roll or something would just add to the complexity of the flavors. Yeah, well, we'll have leftovers, so make a sandwich tomorrow. I'll be over. You know, this whiskey was aged 10 years. This brisket was cooked for 10 hours. A lot of time and attention went into both of these. I think it's only right that we take our time, savor this meal, savor this evening. You do the same. Cheers. Cheers.